Hi, this is Charlene here with AVID's variation of the 10-2-2 model for little ones. It's the 5-1-1 processing method for grades trans transitional kinder through second. So this is again for TK through two educators. So it would be um, that teachers would strategically plan to deliver instruction with five minutes of input for teacher talk. That means five minutes of concept development, five minutes of lecture, five minutes of uh, demonstration, five minutes for reading comprehension or listening comprehension, or viewing a video that is content related, but no more than five minutes of student input due to students um, attention span. So we want to go ahead and allow maximum five minutes and then after those five minutes to go ahead and allow students to collaboratively process. So you can design it so that students could just sit on your carpet and turn to an elbow partner and share with their partner on the carpet or if they're working at their table groups working with um, either a partner at their table or a small group so an example of this would be working with your ab partner so you would allow them to work with their partner uh, it, they could do round robin rally robin uh, think pair share there's a lot of kagan strategies that would also fit in this collaborative processing time so you would want to demonstrate as a teacher what partner a's expectations are what partner b's expectations are keep time and tell students when they are to switch from partner a to partner b um, just modeling all of those expectations even choosing a student and deliberately modeling in front of the class until they understand Understand the structure and the process. At this point in time when students are sharing, we want educators to go around and listen to these conversations to collect formative input, to collect formative data from their students. Um, this will help teachers understand if students are getting the concepts, if they're understanding, if there's a common misconception that needs to be addressed. After students collaboratively process, you pull your whole class back together again, and this is when you would use your equity sticks, your cards, your slides, any random name generator, and select students in, to go ahead and share with the rest of the group. So a student could share their own ideas, they could share their partner's ideas, but this is really working on that student engagement and student empowerment to feel comfortable and create that collaboration within your classroom. So I could share my information um, orally. If I'm very competent as a first or second grader, I can go ahead and go up to the anchor chart and add information to the chart, sharing the pen with my teacher. Um, I can add to a slide. I can go ahead and add on the whiteboard if we're using a graphic organizer and add to the graphic organizer. Um, if the graphic organizer is already created and my teacher went ahead and added the information, I can go up there and create a check mark just showing that I agree with that information or that input or I contributed that. Um, so there's a lot of ways that teachers can really use this for social emotional learning to impact their classroom to create a sense of community, and really to help students feel proficient. So definitely no more than five minutes of teacher input, one minute for students to collaboratively process, and one minute to summarize the thinking that they've done in the classroom, and then you would start the process all over again, five minutes of teacher input, one minute to collaboratively process, and one minute to go ahead and summarize and add to the anchor chart or the slide. So this is Charlene with the 511 AVID method, which is actually the 1022 for upper grade. And if you're interested in seeing how this will scaffold for upper grades, go ahead and watch the 1022 method video. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.